What's up, my beautiful people? This is Galactic Goddess Tarot, and today we will be doing messages from your person for the sign of Leo. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, come join the family. And if you would like, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it and it definitely helps out the channel. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into the video. Just remember that I'm reading for a collective. So this video may or may not resonate with you and that's okay. If this video does not resonate with you, feel free to watch your moon and your rising sign. And also just remember that not every single card may be your message and that's okay. If it's not your message, just, you know, if it doesn't apply, let that shit fly. All right, I do have a white candle lit, and I also went ahead and I burned some Palo Santos before I hit record. So we'll jump right into the video for Leo. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Spirit, what would Leo's person like to tell them? Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. All right, we'll go ahead and split the deck. All right, Leo, we have, I want to show you off. Ooh, so Leo, we have somebody who has their eye on you and they definitely plan on coming in and when they come in, they want to show you off, okay? They want the world, they want everybody to know that you are theirs, okay? They want to they wanna make it known, okay? <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. I want to show you that I need you. Ooh, so, Leo, this person, they want, they feel like they need you and they want you to know that. They want you to know that, you know, they have these strong feelings for you and they don't want to hide it, okay? This person wants to come in and claim this love as theirs, okay? <laughs> All right, we have, I miss our talks. So, Leo, this is somebody that you know, whether you've dated this person before or maybe just connected with this person before. Um, this person miss your, misses your guys' talks. Um, you guys may not be in contact at all right now. And maybe if you are in contact, it's slim to none. But this person, you know, they definitely, they're missing you right now, okay? We have baby daddy. So for some of you guys, maybe this is your baby daddy or um, maybe, you know, this person is connected to their baby daddy and that could possibly be why, um, why the connection, this connection is suffering. Maybe they're connected to their baby daddy or maybe this person is someone else's baby daddy and that's what's holding them back. Maybe their ex is still holding on to them because, you know that's their baby daddy well and you you guys know how baby daddy fits into your story there's it there's a couple different ways it could go but yeah we definitely have baby daddy energy here and maybe and you know and maybe you know this person wants to be your baby daddy or wants you to be their baby daddy simple as that okay <laughs> then we have obsessed so leo this person is they're obsessed with you okay um, they're watching your social media, they're paying attention who you're talking to, who's commenting, who's liking, um, they're point blank period obsessed with you, okay? <laughs> I want to give you all my attention. Yeah, this person is definitely super obsessed with you. Um, they want to come, come back around and they want to give you all their attention. They want to show you that they are serious um, that they have these strong feelings for you and you know they they want everybody to know they are ready to claim what is theirs okay all right leo we have a spiritual bath remember the full moon is tonight so um my leos that are watching and it's the 26th um today's the 26th so you know if you catch this video before tonight maybe a spiritual bath is something that um 
you could do tonight for the full moon you know it doesn't necessarily always have to be on the full moon you know the full moon just helps amplify things but you could use some um a spiritual bath you know some cleansing um and you know spirit is just saying you know something to think about if you know if that's not necessarily something you're into that's totally fine and that's okay but for those of you that are this is your sign okay we have may so for some of you guys this person is going to reach out to you in may um, to spark this conversation with you for others of you maybe this person's birthday is in may um maybe you guys met in may um you know uh, but there's a multiple multiple things that may could mean um yeah something could happen in may maybe the person's birthday's in may maybe you guys met in may maybe there's something um significant about may to this connection okay we have damn you're fine <laughs> This person is very physically attracted to you. I mean, I, I feel like they're attracted to you on all levels, but I, I there's definitely a lot of physical attraction here. It's like this person goes on your social media and sees like pictures that you post and they're like, damn, you're fine, Leo. Like <laughs> when you post pics, I save them to my phone. Didn't I tell you guys they're watching your social media? So when you're when you know when you're feeling yourself and you're posting your pictures, just know this person is saving those pics, okay? They got them saved right in their phone. And whenever they're sitting around missing you um, or wanting to be in your energy, that's what they go look at, okay? We have I'm so mad at myself for not choosing you. Ooh. Okay, so for some of you guys, you might want to go watch that Taurus video. Um, because we are in Taurus season and we did have May here. So some of you guys may be actually dealing with the Taurus. Um, and I also had this card pop out um, in the Taurus reading as well. So this could just be, you know, neutral type of energy. So if you're dealing with the Taurus, you know, go be a cross watcher. It's okay. I welcome cross watchers as well. Um, go check that video out. But yeah, so this person is mad at themselves for not choosing you. Um, for some of you guys, this person actually did choose somebody over you um they chose they chose to go with a different connection and now they are kicking themselves for it okay i find you to be so magical so leo this person finds you very magical for some of you guys you guys are spiritual i'm um, also that's probably why the spiritual baths came um card came up um you guys are spiritual and this person knows that and they find that to be very magical about you i feel like they've never met someone like you before um and it actually like draws them to you they feel like you have a very healing energy. This was meant to be. I feel like this person is waking up to um, their feelings in this connection and how deep and strong this connection truly was. I feel like at first maybe they didn't realize it um, or maybe were trying not to realize it intentionally or unintentionally. Um, but this person is now starting to see that, you know, they they feel like this connection is meant to be. They feel like they're meant to be with you, Taurus, Okay. I said Taurus. So yeah, some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus for sure. And if not a Taurus, the person probably definitely has Taurus in their chart. So I apologize for that, Leo. <laughs> I apologize, Leo. I'm sorry. But yeah, some of you guys are probably um, dealing with the Taurus or somebody who's in like Taurus type energy um, or has it in their chart somewhere. Everything you do is amazing. This person, yeah, this person feels like you're overall, like you're magical. Everything you touch turns to gold. Um, and they are really upset at themselves, okay? I feel like this person um, every day is beating themselves up um, emotionally, mentally because of what they did to this connection. Um, and you're a very beautiful person, Leo. I feel like this person knows that. You're a very beautiful person. Um, you know, you have goals. You got your head on right. Um, and they chose somebody over you that probably wasn't the healthiest and the best choice for them. I really want to reach out to you. So this person is contemplating how to reach out to you, Leo. They want to make sure that they approach the situation correctly. They want to be able to come back, um, apologize to you, um, put everything out on the table and talk about things and possibly move forward with this connection. Um, but to be honest, this person is very scared to reach out to you. And I think it's because of what... I think that some of you guys know that this person chose someone over you. Um, and, you know, things like that really do hurt. So and I think this person knows that they really hurt you. Um, and maybe for some of you guys, um, your last conversation with this person wasn't the happiest conversation. We have jealous. This person is watching you on social media and getting very jealous. Some of you guys, I feel like you, 
you know, maybe you are single, but maybe you're just kind of flirting a little bit here and there. And maybe people are flirting with you and it's really kind of pissing this person off, to be honest, because <laughs> they really don't want anybody else to have your attention. Um, and that's part of the reason why they're really trying to get up this courage to come reach out to you because um, they almost can't take it anymore. <laughs> I know it's you. I see in my dreams. Now, Taurus did get the same exact card as well, you guys. So um, really, honestly, you might want to go watch that Taurus reading because I feel like there's still it's a lot of the same energy um, out of all the readings I've done. I feel like these two readings are kind of got the same type of energy. So um, go check that reading out. Even if it's, you know, maybe a possibility your person has Taurus in their chart. So um, you might want to go check that out. But this person knows that they're seeing you in their dreams. I feel like they're receiving messages in their in their dreams, receiving downloads. Um, and that's how they know that this connection is meant to be. Um, it's because of the dreams that they're having. Spirit is connecting to them and giving them messages in their dreams when it comes to you in this connection. I love when you tease me. I feel like this person... Okay, I'm just going to be real with you, Leo. I feel like <laughs> I feel like this person, um, you may be on social media, like um, sensing that this person is watching you. Um, maybe you kind of intuitively feel that this person is watching you. Maybe you've had signs that this person is watching you. But um, I feel like you post things and this person feels like you're teasing them. And in a way, it's kind of like cat and mouse and it kind of like turns this person on. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, they kind of like it. Um, so for those of you that are like, you know, kind of playing this little game with them, not necessarily letting them know that that's the intention, but you're just kind of like doing your thing. But you know, you know, it's like hyping them up on the inside, deep down inside. Yeah, this person, they, they love it. Okay. <laughs> I want you so bad. This person is very attracted to you. Okay. And on all levels, like physical, mental, emotional, this person is very attracted to you, okay? And they really, really want you. And that feeling is like growing and intensifying as time goes on, okay? And I apologize if you hear snoring. That's my dog. She is in the room with me today. So, yeah, I apologize. She's a snorer. Don't go build a life without me. This person doesn't want you to move on, Leo. They, they, want, they want you, okay? And they want you to themselves. They do not want you to... They don't want you to move forward. They don't want to see you with someone else. That, that would actually really, really upset them. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Um, that would really hurt them and, like, I feel like break them inside, okay? Um, this person, you know, they want to build a life with you. Um, they want to make things right with you. I feel like for some of them, they just need a little bit more time to get their life and get themselves together and get on track. Um, because they do want to be able to come back and offer you something stable, okay? You're a breath of fresh air. I feel like compared to anybody else in this person's life, you're a breath of fresh air to them. I feel like you're a very different type of person compared to like the energies they're used to being around. Like I said before, I feel like you guys have a very healing type of energy. And this person knows that. That's why when they come in contact with you, you're like a breath of fresh air. Unfortunately, they did make some decisions and they ended up choosing someone over you. Um... Even if in your case, maybe the person didn't choose someone over you. Maybe they chose work over you, money over you. Um, regardless, they chose something over you. And now they are regretting it. Now, you know, their breath of fresh air is not there. <laughs> Do you ever think about me? So you're on this person's mind a lot. They want to know, are you even thinking about them? Um... I feel like for some of them, they know that um, you still think about them. They know that you love them and care about them. But at the same time, they also know that they did hurt you. Um, but for others of you, this person really doesn't know if you even want anything to do with them. They they don't know if they even if they come forward and apologize, if you'll even accept it or even talk to them. Okay. We have. I'm thinking about sliding in your DMs. Yeah. So we already have, I really want to reach out. So this person is really contemplating actually like reaching out and talking to you. They're just trying to figure out how to go about it and how to do it and what's the best way. They want to approach you correctly. They want to approach the situation correctly. Um, you know, so they, so, you know, the desired outcome is possible. You know, they don't just want to rush into doing it and messing it all up for good. So um, they're trying to take their time with this, trying to find the exact words, the perfect words to say to you, how to apologize to you, um, and how to 
correctly take accountability for the things that they've done in this connection. Do I ever cross your mind? Yeah, I feel like this person really did hurt you. And I feel like um, they really, they feel like it's really up in the air. I feel like for some of you guys, they really don't know if you ever, if you even want anything to do with them. If they're, if they're even thinking about you, um, if they're thinking about you, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you're thinking about them, um, I'm sorry, you guys, they, you know, they don't know if you're even thinking about them, if you want anything to do with them. Um, yeah, they just want to know if they, they, they just want like a little, they just, I feel like for some of them, they're actually like waiting like on a little hint. Like they just need a little inkling that they're still on your mind and that there's still hope. Um, and that's kind of what they're watching out for on your social media. They're trying to see if there's going to be like a little hint or something on there. <laughs> and like I said, for some of you guys, you are dealing with the Taurus. We have Taurus energy popping up here. Taurus and still a lot of the same cards that I got in Taurus. So for you, yeah, some of you guys, you guys are really dealing with the Taurus. Um, or this person has Taurus in their chart or just in Taurus type energy. So I feel like there's too many confirmations. You, Leo, let's go watch the Taurus video, okay? Just go be a little cross watcher. It's okay. I've had way too many one nights. Yeah, so we have a player energy. I had that in the Taurus reading too. It was definitely a player energy. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you guys don't even know this about this person. Maybe you suspected it, but you, I feel like you may not know like to the full extent or never had like clarification on if that's what this person does. But I feel like this person, you know, their love life hasn't been the greatest and they haven't made the best decisions okay we have you're all i need this person feels like you're everything that they need leo i feel like they they feel like you're perfect for them they feel like you're the perfect balance you know you got a good head on your shoulders um and you're you're you know you're just you're everything that they need that's how they feel they feel like it doesn't get any better than you okay um and uh, for some of you guys, they actually did learn that lesson that it does not get any better than Leo, okay? All right, last round of cards. I want to, I want to take things slow with you. So this person wants to come back and they do just want to take things slow with you. They don't want to rush the connection. They don't want to just rush and jump into things. They really want to do right. They really want to do right this time around. They really want to get to truly know you, allow you to truly get to know them 100% because I definitely feel like, feel like it's things about this person you do not know. They have not been they have not been completely and truly honest and open with you. Um and yeah, they just, they want to come back and they want to take things slow with you. They don't want to rush into anything. Um, they really want to do right by this connection this time around, okay? We have, you got me stuck inside your love cycle. So this person feels stuck. They feel like they're just stuck on you. They're stuck in your love. Like nobody else's love even compares. It doesn't even matter. Like they're just, they're 100% stuck on you. Even if, even if this person has pursued other connections, um, since this connection, it doesn't even matter because the person doesn't even compare to you. Okay. <laughs> we have past life connection. Ooh. So yeah, this is a past life connection. I feel like this person is also waking up to that, um, realizing that this is like a soulmate, possible twin flame connection. Um, and that's why the feelings are so strong. And it's like a magnetic pull to one another. Um, and I think it took for this person to lose you to actually realize that. I see a future with you. Yep, see? And that's right next to... Uh, don't go build a life without me. This person really does want a future with you. They want the whole nine with you. A whole ten. Forget the nine. They want the whole ten with you, okay? This person really wants to build a future with you. They really want to do right by this connection and really move forward. You're the love of my life. You're this person's love of their life? That is so sweet. I mean, not necessarily ever, not necessarily the decisions that they've made, but I feel like this person is really waking up to this connection. I feel like this person really is realizing who you are to them, what you mean to them, and how they truly feel about you. Um, and I feel like this person is ready to come back and be vulnerable and actually, you know, work things out, actually talk about feelings this time around. You're beautiful. This person is definitely attracted to you um, overall. I feel like this person just thinks you're an overall beautiful person, okay? I love your smile. I 
I'm trying to change. Yeah, like I said, this person is working on themselves. I feel like um, that's part of the reason why they haven't came forward yet. It's just because they're working on themselves right now. They want to come back and be the person that you need them to be um, and the person that you deserve for them to be, okay? Um, so yeah, they're actually like really trying to change themselves right now. They're really working on themselves. When I hear certain songs, I feel like you're talking to me. See, that's that, you know, soul connection, you know? You know, talk, talking to one another, talking to one another telepathically. And I feel like um, that's part of the thing that this person is waking up to is, um, especially if this is a twin flame connection. And I did have the twin flame card in the tourist reading, just so you guys know. Um, you know, talking to each other telepathically, that's part of, you know, the twin flame connection. Um, and I feel like this person is waking up to that. They're waking up to their signs. They're waking up to their messages that they're receiving from spirit. Um, and they are following their intuition when it comes to this connection. Oh, Leo, I'm happy for you guys. All right, let's get some uh, spirit animal oracle cards for you guys before I close it out. Spirit, please give me messages for Leo. We have um, wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom, number 67. So, yeah, Spirit's just saying, you know, take take the knowledge you're gaining at this time, um, even from the past, and turn it into wisdom. And also share that wisdom with others. Brown Bear Spirit, take time out, number nine. You know, you may have to, you may need to take some time out, especially if you've been, like, really busy um, keeping yourself, you know, constantly on the go. It's okay to take some time out. You need to rejuvenate. You need to rest, um, recharge, and all of that. You know, so take the time out and do that. Panther spirit, reclaim your power, number 44. Leo, reclaim that power, okay? Come back into your power. Um, maybe you guys have been affected. Um, you know, maybe there's been things going on in life that's um, affected, you know, you being in your power. I mean, the spirit is just saying it's time to reclaim your power. It's time to, you know, step back into your power, Okay. And then we have Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries, number three. So, you know, I feel like right now, that's kind of a lesson for everybody right now, setting healthy boundaries. Um, and I think that we all could do that better overall. Like, just let's be real. Um, especially, you know, when it comes to connections like this and stuff like that, set healthy boundaries. It's okay to set boundaries. Um, you know, sometimes we think people will take offense if we set boundaries, um, you know, and don't feel that way. It's okay for you to set healthy boundaries with people and don't be afraid to do it. But all right, Leo, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it resonated for you. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Join the family. I definitely appreciate it. If this video did resonate with you, please give it a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate that as well. It definitely helps the channel grow. Um, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a prosperous day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.